We are here at Junk Happens in Statham, Georgia. I've never been here before. It's actually raining right now, so I can't even do my intro outside like I usually do, but we're gonna go in and see what we can find. So this was the first room upon entering, and as you can see, it is full. The first item I saw was this wooden bird swallowing a fish. You guys know I'm a sucker for my wooden figurines. It was signed and dated, so for $6 and 20% off, I definitely picked him up. Then over here, I was looking at some glass pieces. They were a little bit more contemporary, so I left them. This lamp caught my eye. Definitely vintage, but a souvenir piece, and I'm just not that into the souvenir pieces but I was definitely appreciating it this shelf oh this doggy <laughs> caught my eye as I was going over to that shelf it was just a single single uh, shaker I love these ginger jars and you never find them with the lid but um, I have too many so I left it behind so back to this shelf, I love these great pictures. Some of them are Portugal, some of them are Italy, but again, I have too many of them, so I didn't even bother to look at them. I was very surprised to pick these up and feel how heavy they were. They were contemporary, but they were very aesthetically pleasing. I keep finding this planter everywhere now. I don't know why, but I love the stance of the bird. Um, you don't usually see this stance with the feathers up like that, um, but for $14.99, it was a little bit too close to retail. This booth definitely had a lot of birds. I loved this little display, but most everything that I was interested in in here was marked firm, so it was excluded from the discount. I loved these cast iron ducks and these... Um, reverse painted snuff bottles. The snuff bottles were a little bit more um, contemporary, but they do sell really, really well. Um, I just, I couldn't do the prices that she was asking for. One thing about this booth, they had tons and tons of teapots. So there were teapots everywhere and a flamingo. So this um, little corner had very nice pottery. That cookie, that vintage cookie jar really caught my eye. And then this is an Israeli piece, um, but I don't know. The colors weren't really speaking to me. Um, I left it there on the shelf thinking that I was going to pick it up for $12 and 20% off, but I ended, I ended up putting it back. And then over here, I'm just checking a couple more pottery pieces. Um, this definitely had some age. And then this piece looked better from afar, but it was like a decoupage um, transfer design. These were very striking. Again, um, contemporary, but this style of Chinese pottery does sell. I did pick this piece up. Um, I knew right away that it was Czechoslovakia before I even turned it over. This silhouette black on um, ceramic pitchers and vases. Very, very typical of Czechoslovakia pottery. I kept putting it down and picking it up, so I ended up just picking it up and buying it.
so here I'm just picking up a couple of pottery pieces I didn't mean to pick both of these up but I forgot to go back for them they were five dollars and six dollars great prices this Katani porcelain sells for me pretty well but I just wasn't really feeling it today um, and then I also saw this glass piece. I felt like it was a little bit more contemporary, but the color is beautiful. Green is my favorite color. So I'm just spanning over here and then I see this beautiful, beautiful uranium glass. And then even the case was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set. Um, here we have some pink depression glass. Um, I'm not really sure why I didn't pick this up actually. And then these hand painted candlestick, candlestick holders, beautiful enamel hand painted, um, work on them with no damage at all. So they were really, really beautiful, but I wasn't sure at $32, um, even for the pair, if that would be cutting it close for retail. So, unfortunately, I left those behind. So, I'm panning over here. I saw a couple of pieces on the shelf, but then um, I got a little bit distracted. And you'll see why in just a minute. Fenton heaven at first I was like okay this is all beautiful I'm just going to take a look at it admire it gorgeous one of a one of a kind Fenton pieces I mean look at this vase with the cute little ladybug on it beautifully hand painted iridescent glass all original tags original Fenton stickers all of them were signed they're just outstanding and then i started looking at the prices and i'm like these prices really aren't that bad like i started looking up comps on ebay as you can see i'm starting to get excited <laughs> my camera's going all over the place and then the shop owner comes over and says i can do 20 percent on all of his stuff and I freaked out and I was like, are you kidding me? Okay, we're taking some of these pieces home. This basket was $39. Blue iridescent stretch glass. Like, I just, I lost my mind. So you're going to see me kind of all over the place over here. I'm literally just, I can't contain myself. The prices are amazing as is. And then 20% off of that, I ended up getting three pieces, but I'm definitely going back for more i apologize for the shakiness but like i said i was just so so excited okay so these are the three pieces that i picked up i definitely was going to pick up some baskets because baskets are so hard to find under retail price i had to get this yellow one um, because you never see this black and yellow like this for Fenton and this has a little dragonfly on it and then this was definitely always going to be the vase that I picked up it was the most expensive vase that he had priced um, I just love the blue iridescence and the little detail of the ladybug right there and then this one is a very popular um blue iridescent stretch glass by fenton they're all hand painted they're all signed by the artist and the two the vase and this basket has the original fenton sticker and the two baskets have the original fenton sale tags so very original very um just intact and I'm so excited to own these pieces and I'm very excited to pass them on to one of you or someone else who is a great collector of Fenton. So these will definitely be going up on my eBay 
either this weekend or for sure next week. So keep an eye out and you could snag you one of these beautiful Fenton pieces. So for the rest of the shopping trip, I am just browsing. I didn't really find anything else that I could pick up for resale, but this store really has a lot of great vintage pieces and we're going to get to a part of the store where it's all the Christmas stuff. So please enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Okay, we're back in the car. Y'all, that Fenton, oh my gosh. Most most of the pieces, I, I, I can't even talk. Most of the pieces had like the original sticker, like original sales sticker on them with the prices. So the prices that he had them at were way under the original sale, ta sale price. And then she gave me almost 20% off of those prices. I seriously wanted to clear all the shelves like I wanted to buy it all um I only bought the three pieces um I'll show you which ones they are um but seriously I wanted to buy it all I will definitely be back for more of that Fenton just crazy like I did not expect this little um antique shop it's not really antique it's more vintage I, I bet I 
like it's in a shopping center with like a dentist office and a martial arts place and um it's just crazy like crazy I i'm not gonna make it to the second location i wanted to go to today but hopefully i can go back out tomorrow in the area and um see what other new antique shops we can discover while i am up here so anyways i hope you enjoyed shopping with me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye